Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Did you guys see this? That was a heck of a bite, y'all. What a fish. Hey, you guys, we're doubled up out here in Black Bay catching the biggest redfish I've ever seen. Bears hey, we're tripled up, you guys. This is Deer Meat for dinner. Let the action begin right now. All right, you guys, here we are. We're at the launch, and everything is new to me, but we are fishing Venice, Louisiana today with Captain Ron from Fish Intimidator Charters. Would someone show Robert how to catch a fish over there? And we got Big Chris and Kelly Harris with us. What's up, happy people? We are out in the bayou of Louisiana fishing with Captain Ron. This is my good friend Chris Sebring from Everglade Seasoning. It's a swordfish. I think it's our $100 fish. It's a $100 fish. And that's the, that is the woman who gets it all done over at Everglade Seasoning. That is Kelly Harris, y'all. I'm telling you. Everywhere I go, all over the world, people, whenever they see me, the first thing they say is, hey, I've got Everglades seasoning. And so, here about a month ago, Chris called and invited me on this fishing trip. And now, we are here. We got a popping cork, about 12, 15 inches of, of leader to a little lead head jig. We're gonna put a piece of shrimp on it. We're gonna cast out, try to catch us a redfish to keep. Now. Our main objective is to catch some big, huge bull reds, like the monsters, 40 inchers. But you can't eat those. So we're gonna start off in here trying to catch one that we can eat. All right, Big Chris is on the board first. You know me, there's no way I'm coming fishing if I can't keep anything. So we're gonna catch some of them, then we're going after the monsters. I just had one of the biggest topwater bites I've ever seen in my life. He's probably still there. He, he ate it while it was sitting still. There he is, right there. I stole, I stole this fish. Way to go, that's brother-in-law fishing right there, y'all. Catch him, Ron. I, I didn't really mean to do it. I just wanted to have your back. <laughs> this is the man right here. Oh my God, what a fish. Ooh. All right, my power the whole time, okay? Don't ever let him let that rod go kind of limp. Okay. That's when we spit the book a lot of times. Okay, now hold your rod to the right. Put a little pressure to the right there. Oh, yes. Look how big that fish is, Kel. That is awesome. That's why we came to Venice right there. All right, look at him. There he goes. All right, you guys, that's why you come to Venice. This place is like the redfish capital of the world. I was fishing that topwater plug, came up and blew up on it. He pitched the little gulp jig out there, counted it, and uh, Kelly caught it. Those are huge fish to catch on really, really light tackle. As you can tell, the rod is the same, but the boat has changed. Hey, how are y'all? So explain to me the, the popping cork. The popping's more of a strike. I mean, they, they think other fish are feeding, so they're gonna come hone in on it and see what's going on. And when they see a, they see the bobber or whatever going off, they'll attack it. I mean, they're, they'll get mean at it. They don't like it. So. 
That was a heck of a bite, y'all. That was a crazy, crazy bite. I mean, the fish came at me. I was like, I didn't know if I had a fish or what the heck had gone on. Oh my gosh, what a fish. This is the biggest redfish I've ever laid my eyeballs on in my whole life. That is an absolute freaking pterodactyl of a redfish. Holy mackerel. Yikes. That right there is a fish, boys and girls. Look where he's hooked. Swallowed it all the way down in the crushers there. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. Got him. Yes. 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 Got him all. Good job, Sarah. Woo woo. All right, y'all. So this right here is Mr. Chris's daughter, and she is a huge part of Everglades seasoning. So anytime you're ordering Everglades, this is a family run, family operated, awesome business that, hey, y'all make awesome spice. <laughs> Jay, have you ever caught Never. redfish like that in your life? No, no sir, this is huh? unbelievable. There's the bait. Very nice. Those people get excited about it, but then all the other people. Oh, right, there he is. So he hit that like freight train right there. The only reason it was still sitting in the water is because I was getting ready to cast. Double on, yes. What a fish, y'all! Look at this fish. Look at this fish, y'all. Amazing. Look at this fish. I mean, what, what's crazy is how they swallow it. I mean, they annihilate the bait. What a fish. What a fish. There was one swimming with mine. Fish. Look at the size of that lunker. Moses. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Catching them all on artificial. Whoa, come here, buddy. It's a good one. It's the winner, guys. It's going to be a 45 incher. Is it? It's a big fish, for sure. I think it's the best one yet. <laughs> Why'd you have to show me up so bad? Someone has to. <laughs> oh my god, look at the size fish. Turn yours a little bit to your left. Look at the size fish. Hey! That right there is why you come to South Louisiana, down here in the bayou. Peter, you are awesome, man. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh. That, was, that was a quick finish. Yeah. It really was. What an amazing day. We're out here catching the biggest redfish I have ever seen in my entire life on artificial. This is incredible. Uh, my setup today, I'm using a Shimano Tranks. This is the 300. It's on a Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. I love it 
because it's got a lot of backbone. It's nice and stiff. You can make long casts, really get a, a lot of pop in the cork. But then you got all the torque, all the backbone to really turn that fish's head. Then I'm using 30 pound braid. This is Power Pro um, and a popping cork. When you make that loud pop, it pop, pop. Sounds like a fish eating and uh, those big reds come in to investigate the situation. Next thing you know, they find this little jig fluttering around. Game on. Let's catch another one. Like music. <laughs> oh man. You know, you hear all the stories when you're, you know, you're back home about your buddies who come here. But it just doesn't compare to actually feeling the bite and seeing that fish. That is an impressive, impressive fish. What an animal. Put that net on him. Thank you so much, Cap. Nicely done. What a fish, man. We got a rainstorm blowing in. Back on Jay's fight, the gigantic donkey back here. This is what life is all about, y'all. We'll see you at the camp. All right, y'all. Let's knock the sides off this sucker. Very easy. Believe it or not, redfish have a lot like more armor on their skin than you think. Their scales are really tough. Turn that over. This fish has been gorging himself on all these little fish around here. Take that, cut these billy ribs out. Same thing here. All these fish will have a little set of pin bones right there. Now, Tomorrow, we're gonna go out and try to actually target these a little bit more. All right, so have you ever marinated fish in Crystal's hot sauce? I sure ain't, buddy, I never heard of that. Think it'd be good? Gotta be good if you say it's good. I don't say it good, he said it's good. Oh, wrong dude? Yeah. Let's try fish it. Fish in let's try it. So we'll just let this fall in love for about an hour, right in there. Are we gonna cook it on the grill tonight or are we gonna put it in the pan? Hey, you guys, I want you to understand something. Millions of y'all have ordered Everglades seasoning. <laughs> this is the man who owns Everglades seasoning right here. We appreciate everybody doing what they can for us. No, it's, it's really cool. All I'm telling y'all is, Life is good. You ever see those shirts? Life is good. They're not lying. <laughs> We're trying to do a, a redfish catch, clean, and cook. Where am I? How am I going to fit redfish on here if there's steak on the whole grill? Well, they told me they got tired of eating fish and shrimp out here to bring some good beef out here. And Jay, that player, we we killed his beef out here in the feedlot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and what we did is we brought his pure Angus certified beef out here to feed all these people here today. Check this out, y'all. This is gonna be some goodness. Look at that. That's crazy. And that fish just absorbed some of that hot sauce now. A little over glades heat. Cooking fast, y'all, cooking fast. When you're cooking fish like this, you don't want it to cook too long. Look how nice that is.
Good time. All right, you guys. Good thing about fish is it don't take long. That is done. So what's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt? Wyatt Earp? No, not Wyatt Earp. What's your last name? McDaniel. Wyatt McDaniel. Wyatt McDaniels, what's your name? Colin Bailey. Colin Bailey? Where y'all from? North Carolina. Tell me the truth, don't lie. Have you had a good time? I have had an awesome time. What have you caught? Oh, we've caught some reds, some red bulls, some good fish. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Y'all caught a lot more than me today. I had a great day, but these boys right here wore them out. A good red fish. I want to do one thing. The man that owns this lodge, Ron Price, I'd like for him to try this red fish. All right. This got the secret seasoning on it. I like that. That's really good. I've never marinated fish in hot sauce before. Try that. It's got a lot of spice to it, but that is phenomenal. Mmm. Mm. I've had black and red fish before. It's never been that good. Now, let's taste this steak. Look at that. Perfect. We woke up this morning. Everyone met right out here in the driveway. Went down, put the boat in the water. Went for a beautiful ride out into the bayou. Caught the biggest redfish I have ever laid my eyes on. Then we came home cleaned the fish, everyone had a good time fellowshipping around here. Then we went out back, there were humongous alligators eating the fish carcasses. That is what life is all about to me. I cannot wait to bring Sarah and the girls here. That's all I got for you today. Tomorrow's a new day. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.